Hey y'all, it's Shanna, it's Thursday. I wanna share this little tidbit of advice that I got several years ago. And I keep making videos and they just are getting a little too personal, the more than I wanna share. Okay, so believe it or not, y'all, there are things that I keep to myself that I don't share all over social media. But um, this piece of advice, I feel like it needs to be heard. And it can be applied to just about anybody's life um, and where they are, no matter what they're dealing with. And I got this advice from one of my dear friends that I met when I was in um, Sugar Hill, Georgia, uh, when I was managing the Curves of Swanee. Those Curves of Swanee ladies, they have my heart. They always will. They were there when I got pregnant with my daughter and when I had her, so they kind of helped me, in addition to my family, figure out how to do this thing. And they were my family. I saw them every day. It was a wonderful experience. Okay, so. I have lots of great stories and memories about different um, Curves ladies, but this one I'm going to talk about. Uh, she might even watch this because she is my friend on Facebook. Uh, her name is Ethel, and I love Ethel. Always have. She's got like 8 billion kids, like 12 billion grandkids. You cannot love this woman. She is true, um, grounded in her faith, and the love just comes out of her. You just no, you just feel love when you are in the same room with her because she's just that genuine. So I had a, you know, I had a little bond with her like I did a lot of my ladies, but she and I were talking one day and it was just me and her and Curves. And I was talking about some things that were going on that I didn't know what to do about and she was listening to me. And I don't wanna go into my personal stuff, but I'm gonna tell you what advice she gave me. And I think a lot of you will resonate, this will resonate with you. She said to me, Shanna, God has a plan. God is right, but God did not make you stupid. God gave you a brain and you know what to do. And y'all, that right there was so impactful for me because, you know, we all struggle with what we know is right, but then applying that to our current situation and what we continue to do. Um, so that's all I'm gonna say, because I don't want, like I said, I don't wanna go into my personal experience where I was with it at the time. I would one-on-one -on -one with people, but I don't wanna put it on um, social media or whatever. But um, that, that piece of advice from Miss Ethel was, I still, I mean, I can picture it plain as day. That conversation, where we were, and just how it stuck with me. So, you know, thank you, Ethel, for loving me and saying that to me, because it worked. You know, it's still, it's, I think about it all the time when I'm trying to make decisions, you know, and weighing what's right, what's wrong, and my brain. And I think, I think a lot of us probably struggle, especially Christians or, you know, religious in general. I don't, I don't know anything else about other religions. Just, I don't know a lot about that. But I know as a Christian, I struggle with God's path and my intellect. And there's, not necessarily God's path, but your, you know, your faith and your intellect, they are two separate things and you have to combine them. And sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not. And sometimes you have to go and just trust your blind faith and that, that's fine. I do that, y'all. I wouldn't be walking every day if I didn't do that. But intellect is there for a reason. God did not make you stupid. God gave you a brain. God let you figure out how to use it. So use it so you can continue on the path he wants you on. So that's what I want to say today. I got a little more religious than I tend to get. Actually, it's probably gonna surprise people. People are apparently surprised that I am a believer, which is funny to me, but you know, whatever. But um, yeah, so that's what I want to share with y'all today. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Fabulous, let's just say that five times. No, let's don't, because I obviously I can't do it. But um. Enjoy your day. I do have to go to the radio station today and my babies come home tomorrow. I am super excited to see them because it's been too long. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow y'all are gonna be inundated with pictures of me and my babies and videos probably and all that stuff. So have a great day and I will talk to y'all soon.